Hello guys and girls, welcome back to Competitive Console Gaming, my name is Ardvar, and today I am recording this video for the third time, because every single time something went wrong except for hopefully this time. <laughs> Anyways, getting on to the actual video, the actual content of the video. Um, today I'm doing something a little different as you can probably see. Um, Way back when the channel first started, I did mention that we were going to have, or we were planning to have, a lot of Pokemon content on the channel. Um, however, believe it or not, due to hardware limitations, yes, hardware limitations, uh, I couldn't actually get that done. I Believe it or not, I was running on a computer that couldn't run both OBS and Pokemon Showdown at the same time. I know that is very sad, you all should be laughing at me right now because that is pathetic. However, uh, I am working on a new machine which uh, is allowing me to do all kinds of new things that I couldn't do that I should have been able to do uh, back in the day. Um, like for instance game battles, I, I can now get you know Skype audio and things like that. Uh, but now it is letting me do this, uh, so I'm deciding to bring Pokemon content back and mostly because Pokemon Showdown battles and things like that, they're great for a quick easy upload, you know. Uh, Halo content I have to work a lot harder uh, on, I have to put a lot more time and effort into. Uh, Pokemon Showdown is quick, it's easy, it's simple to upload, um, and it provides some great content for you guys nonetheless. So uh, we are going to have uh, Pokemon content uh, as a focus again on the channel. Hopefully, if nothing else goes wrong, which I don't see that happening. Uh, but, anyways, today, um, instead of actually doing a Pokemon Showdown battle, which I should have up later in the week, um, I am going to be showing you guys the team that I am going to at least start with in my videos. I'll probably do one of these, uh, you know, team builder videos each time I make a significant change to my team or build a completely new team. Um, but most of the t most of the content is going to be um, probably more something what you guys are used to seeing on Pokemon Showdown channels. You know, just Pokemon Showdown battles. Sometimes commentary over them. Uh, sometimes I may go without just to get a quick upload there. But um, yeah. So today I'm going to be showing you guys my team. Like I said, I usually play in UU. That's what you are going to see most of the time on this channel. Um, if I get enough requests to get some OU uh, battles going, I may. However, I'm a much bigger fan of UU, um, so I'm going to be playing UU most of the time. Um, but again, if you guys really want me to play some OU, I will. I'm, I'm much more familiar with UU, though. Uh, I'm much more comfortable in it. Um, I've played a lot more of it. I know the tier a lot better than OU. So, um... Again, you're probably going to see better games out of me in UU than you are in OU. So um, let's just kind of dive in here. So this this is my team. Um, this is my the team that I've found the most success with in UU. Um, I actually haven't played Pokemon Showdown or Pokemon at all in general uh, in quite a while, in months. Um, I just got back into it the other day when I was like, hey, I've got this new computer. It can probably run both OBS and uh, Pokemon Showdown at the same time, like most computers should be able to. Um, so, so yeah, this this is my team, and I've I've been playing for the past like few days, and this is the team that I actually, interestingly enough, this team has found me more success than I think any old UU team that I used. Um, you know, I used to be crazy for Infernape and Lucario, you know, all the basic guys, but I really think that this team, um, I, th I think this team is much better than anything I came up with previously. Um, so, moving on down the list, I will just, you know, quickly name off each of the Pokemon for you. So, I've got Mega Blastoise up at the top. If you are new to competitive Pokemon and uh, you want to start getting into UU, the UU tier, um, which I recommend as a launching off point, um, or you're moving down to UU for the first time after playing in OU a bunch, uh, I'm going to tell you right now, Blastoise is probably... Uh, I, I'm never going to make a UU team without Blastoise. I mean, never say never, but I don't see it happening, because I, I love Blastoise. Blastoise does work in UU. It's just as simple as that. <laughs> um, 
It doesn't even need to be Mega Blastoise either. Uh, for the longest time, I used an Assault Vest moveset, which I will probably show you guys in a later team because it still works. Um, this is also a pretty interesting moveset, one that people don't see coming a lot, uh, but I'll get into the Pokemon's movesets a little later on. Uh, so yeah, Blastoise, uh, Mega Blastoise, he's my um, bulky special sweeper. Toxicroak here, he's gonna be um, he's gonna be a fast, bulky mixed sweeper. I know that sounds <laughs> that sounds ridiculous, but um, I'll get into the my reasoning behind that. If you look at the EVs just really quickly, I'll get into more in depth later. But if you look at these really quickly, you're gonna think I'm a crazy lunatic person, but. Um, I will explain my reasoning behind it uh, later on when we get into his moveset. Next up we have Azelf, who I just recently discovered how to use properly. I mean, usually sweepers are pretty basic, and Azelf admittedly could be used in other ways, but I didn't find as much success until I threw the choice band on him. I usually don't like doing choice, uh, you know, choice movesets. Usually I prefer having, um, you know, the ability to, you know, choose from, you know, select a bunch of different moves before having to switch my Pokemon, without having to switch my Pokemon out. Um, the only p two Pokemon I ever used this on, I believe, were um, Infernape, I used Choice Scarf uh, quite a bit, um, and Azalf here. Actually, I may have used Choice Specs on Hydreigon a couple times as well, um, but this move set is is powerful. Azelf himself is just powerful. Uh, the amazing physical sweeper. Um, so yeah, that's Azelf. Moving on down, we've got Blissey. Um, pretty basic choice, to be honest. Um, to be in fact, I'm not even quite sure why Blissey is still in UU. It's pretty hard to find a team that doesn't have Blissey, but. <laughs> um, what are you gonna do? Anyways, moving on down. Frostlass. Um, I don't see this. I don't see Frostlass used very often, but I am a huge fan of Frostlass. She kicks ass. Um, definitely one of my favorites to use in UU. Uh, and then Donphan. Uh, again, pretty basic. You're gonna see a lot of Donphan. Um, I typically try to stay away from using, you know, Pokemon that are used all throughout the tier that are used extremely commonly. However, Blissey and Donphan are just the best when it comes to walls, so that's why they're here. I play to win. So let's uh yeah, let's let's dive into these move sets here, starting with Mega Blastoise. And with Mega Blastoise I have a Rest Talk move set. Um, which y you hear it, it sounds basic because you've seen it before on other Pokemon. However, for whatever reason, people never. You, you, I, I think I'm the only person I've seen use this moveset. I love this moveset. Um, just because it's not as predictable as other Blastoise movesets, like I said before, people don't really consider this as an option. Uh, but. Because of that, it has some interesting dynamics, and you know, it it basically can give you an extra turn or two if it throws people off guard. Um, if you you know just mega evolve and quickly get out a water pulse or an aura sphere, hopefully fainting an, uh, an enemy, an enemy Pokemon, and then if they send something out to do some damage to you, which Blastoise is beefy in general, um, can take a lot of hits and then you just bust out a rest, they're not going to know what the hell just happened. And they may, you know, switch around until they find something that can actually take out Mega Blastoise, but by then it may be too late. You may have done enough damage for it not to even matter if they faint this guy. So that's why I love uh, Rest Talk, th this Rest Talk moveset. Um, and then the EV spread is pretty basic. 248 in HP, uh, 252 in special attack and uh, 8 in special defense. Um, both his defense stats are uh, really good. Like I said, he's a beefy guy, so just put them all into HP um, and you should be fine. Let's move on to Toxicroak. Um, 
definitely an interesting uh, move set and EV spread I've got going on here. So, as I said before, Toxicroak. Uh, Toxicroak was a, a, a Pokemon who kind of he used to shine back in uh, back when uh, before the um, weather nerf came into effect in X and Y. Um, you're pretty much never going to see weather teams now, and that's kind of where Toxicroak used to shine. But uh, Toxicroak is one of my favorite Pokemon, and because of that, I'm actually glad that the weather nerf came into effect in a way, uh, just for this Pokemon, because it kind of forced me to come up with a uh, you know better, more uh, well not better necessarily, but more creative move sets for him. Um, so. Black Sludge is there just because uh, Toxicroak is um, he's not the he's not the strongest defensively, so um, you know that can get him out of tight situations. Um, and Trick is a really common move in UU. I'm starting to quickly find. I don't think that was the case back in the day when I used to play it a lot. But it is now. Trick is running rampant, uh, so Black Sludge is a good way to counter that, especially because Toxicroak here is he plays he's he serves many 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 roles, um, and that's kind of let's talk about the EVs here for a sec because typically on pretty much most most of the time you don't want to have your EVs spread out as much as they are here on my Toxicroak. However. The reason I have them spread out this way on this guy is because Pokemon is all about complement finding a move set and finding an EV spread and things like that that complement your Pokemon's strengths. And if you look at Toxicroak, his strengths really come from his ability, his abilities and from his move pool. He has a really strong uh, and versatile move pool and uh, he has really good abilities, but his stats aren't the greatest anyway. <coughs> Sorry about that. So you you know so putting putting two fifty two EVs in speed is only going to help him outspeed so many Pokemon. Um, you know I still put one hundred seventy six just because I want him to outspeed the Pokemon that he obviously as a sweeper should be able to outspeed and as a lead should be able to outspeed but um, even with this he's not going to outspeed uh, everything which is okay he only needs to outspeed so many Pokemon um, he's only going to outspeed so many Pokemon so you know even just bumping it up all the way wouldn't help him outspeed very many other Pokemon that, it's, that are actually going to benefit him to outspeed so uh, that's, you know, kind of what, that kind of works the same with all of this, you know, it's mainly about his moves and, um, what kind of havoc he can cause with his ability, Poison Touch, in combination with his, with his, you know, interesting move pool, uh, that's how you get, that's how you, you know, rack up damage against the enemy team, not by, you know, increasing his stats. Now, I usually hate using mixed sweepers just because I hate having to take I'm um, having to use my nature on and take away um, you know some ev some from a defense stat but um, like I said toxic croak isn't the beefiest anyway um, and you know that's another reason black sludge is there and drain punch is there um, but yeah enough about the EVs let's actually get into the moves so poison jab uh, with that 30% chance to poison, combined with poison touches, 30% chance to poison, and stab, that's a, a really good move for Toxicroak to have. Um, so definitely go with poison jab if you're going to run poison touch Toxicroak. But fake out is actually probably the more important move. Um, if you're sending Toxicroak out as a lead, just a quick fake out, um, followed by a Venishock if fake out poisons with poison touch that's going to do that's going to put a serious damper on the on the enemy pokemon unfortunately as i said before toxicroak isn't going to outspeed very many you know p pokemon uh, however if you're lucky their lead is going to be something like dawn fan or something like that that toxicroak can easily outspeed um, 
And if that is the case, then a quick fake out uh, followed by Venoshock, which actually Don Fan is probably a, a bad example, but you know, just a, a, a slower but beefier Pokemon. Um, getting the poison on them, even just that is going to, you know, is going to basically make make sure Toxicroak is doing his job. Uh, because Blissey's slow, Bl you know, Blissey, you may have to switch out Blissey if you send her out and then go for a quick Toxic. Uh, it's, you know, Toxicroak serves many, many roles, as I said before. He can he can sweep, um, he can play support, he can play lead, he can do all sorts of things. The only things he can't be are uh, a wall. Um, but other than that, he play, he serves many different roles. So that's why I like this guy. That's why his EVs are spread out as much as they are. <sighs> Moving on, this is where the you know the the last four Pokemon on my team have pretty basic move sets. So I'm gonna go through them a little bit faster. Um, as Elf, I basically originally this team had Crobat and uh, one other Pokemon I can't remember, but it had Crobat as my physical sweeper. But I switched it out because the, I played this one match. Uh, well, for a couple reasons, but w what really broke the camel's back is I played this one match against a Suicune, and it completely decimated my entire team, and I was like, alright, I need to find a new physical sweeper. Um, I decided not to go for a special sweeper just because it would have... I, I knew it would have been Hydreigon, and I didn't want to replace Blastoise, so... I started looking for a new physical sweeper that had, like, an Electric-type move, um, and I found Azelf, and I was like, all right, I guess I'll use Azelf. <clears throat> and upon taking a second look at his stats, I was like, okay, I think I can get away with using a Choice Band set um, on this guy. And so I threw that on there, did all you know the, the basic moves. Zen Headbutt makes too much sense on Azelf. Um, Power Up Punch is the only one that you know you can probably switch out for something else. Uh, but I'm a fan of Power Up Punch, especially if you. Um, out predict your opponent, out maneuver your opponent, opponent catch them off guard, uh, and then get a quick sweep with one power up punch, and then you've got you know that gives you the, you know, and then you've got a setup as well like that's devastating. So, but you can probably switch that out for something a little more powerful. Uh, but that's up to you. Um, U turn is obviously basic on choice sets. Um, always a good choice, and that thunder punch is literally there for Suicune. I'm looking at you, Suicune fucking bitch. But anyways, um, EV is, EV spread, uh, pretty basic, um, 252 speed, uh, 252 attack, jolly nature, um, and for special defense, uh, again, really basic. Moving on, we've got Blissey. I don't really even need to say anything. This is Blissey. I'm sure you guys are all perfectly f uh, familiar with this moveset, this Pokemon, this EV spread. The only thing is Fire Blast uh, is somewhat unreliable. You can switch that out for Flamethrower if you want something less powerful but more reliable. Um, I end up missing with Fire Blast a lot, so I'm considering changing it to um, Flamethrower. But other than that, this is... This is Blissey. <laughs> Moving on to Frostlass, uh, this isn't like the most creative moveset, however, I don't think I see this moveset on Frostlass that often. And the rare, on the rare occasions that I do see Frostlass, I don't, <laughs> I don't see her uh, a lot, uh, except on my teams. But Confuse Ray, Protect, Destiny Bond, and Frost Breath. Uh, Frost Breath always results in critical hit, plus stab is devastating, despite, you know, only putting eight EVs into special attack, it still does a significant amount of damage. Um, and then, yeah, this, this is pretty basic. The only thing is, uh, Frostlass is pretty much known for, Desti for the Destiny Bond, which makes it a little bit difficult to uh, execute properly. Uh, it makes it more difficult. And then another thing that's interesting is is uh, Focus Sash versus, versus Focus Ban. Um, I might even make a whole video discussing <laughs> discussing those two items. I used to use a Hitman top that had Focus Ban instead of Focus Sash, and I got so lucky with that move set it pissed people off so badly. But anyways, moving on. 
This is a pr uh, pretty basic move set. You obviously want to use Curtis Body. Uh, this is pretty basic. Don Fan again. Really basic. Stealth Rock, Roar, Rapid Spin, uh, Sturdy, Leftovers. There's not much else that needs to be said. What I what I like about this team overall, um, I like the fact that I have three different potential leads, Don Fan, Frostlass, and Toxicroak. That can really, you know, throw the enemy off. Um, I see a lot of teams where it's you know who the lead is gonna be and um, you're like it, sometimes it sucks because I you know uh, sometimes I over predict because I think they're they know that their lead is too predictable um, but they either predict me or they're stupid so <laughs> which is unfortunate but um, anyways yeah this is my team um, and yeah this is who you guys are gonna be seeing for uh, my next few Pokemon Showdown videos. Um, if you guys have any suggestions for uh, UU teams, if you guys um, want to see if there's a particular Pokemon or team or move set that you want to see or that you want to see me discuss, just leave comments in the description. Or leave comments in the comment section. I can leave comments in the description. Stupid Joseph. Um, but yeah, leave comments down below and let me know uh, if you guys want to see more videos like this or if you just want to see battles and have me quickly describe the team uh, before the battle or, or, you know, things like that. Um, but yeah, let me know if you like these kinds of videos, if you want to see more of them. Um, anyways, this has been Aardvark for Competitive Console Gaming. I am glad to be working with Pokemon Showdown again and uh, producing that content for this channel. Um, and yeah, I'll see you guys later.